So as you can see on my screen, we have a really basic social media content bank. Uh, this is fantastic for anyone that doesn't want to put a huge amount of expense into their planning. Uh, there are much more advanced tools out there that exist. So if you are someone who's already through that process of and, and quite advanced in the content creation space, then this might not be uh, for you. But I think for anyone that's just struggling for ideas or, or unsure how to approach what they're potentially going to do consistently over a medium term to long term uh, content creation exercise, then this could be a really simple, easy way to start. So I'm just gonna take you through the categories and uh, give you a little example of how I would potentially do this for one piece of content and how you can vary it uh, to help you come up with many different ideas. So starting off with your content theme. So if you're ever working with Navi or Tourism Tribe, you'll, you'll go through the exercise of understanding your industry content themes. For this example, I'm pretending that I'm a brewery based in the Northern Territory uh, in a fake place, uh, Yabaru. So, uh, our four content themes that I'm going to pick for this are beer, high quality food, live music, and natural setting. From there, I'm going to get three subcategories for each of those four to help me have an idea of how to approach what I'm looking for. So, I'm going to use beer as my example here. We've got decent beer and gin experience, a product range that I sell online, and the story of my brewery and 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 beer and gin so what the history of what i do um, as i think that is quite aligned with the brand and, and what i want my customers and potentially my target market and my customers to know about so i'm not going to worry about these other these other uh three that exist i'm just going to focus on beer and decent beer, decent beer and gin experience for this example so my content theme i've got four beers uh that i'm going to focus on here i got my sub content the decent beer gin experience. I'm gonna leave my title, I'm gonna leave my file location because I don't need it for this example, this is a fake one, but this is the location that you're gonna store all the, the finished product or potentially even the raw content product, the original before it's been created. Then I'm gonna to move to the, to the more important stuff in terms of my idea generation. I've got post type, so I'm just gonna jump back to my example uh, media planning guide. Your post type's gonna fit into four categories. You got dream, plan, engage, and sell. When you focus on dream, you're trying to inspire and entertain. Uh, so a really basic example here is uh, if I was doing the beer, decent gin experience, I wanna have a beautiful photo of beer with sunset in the ground, in the background, really trying to, to translate that idea of being relaxed uh, and then really trying to, to engage with, with my customers who love to come down on a Friday or a Sunday and just mellow out a little bit. So I'm really getting that emotion out there of what that experience might feel like for them. Uh, I've got plan and educate. So in the second example with exactly the same content themes, I've got a video of my brewer creating the beer. I'm not gonna have them talking it, I'm just gonna have music in the background, and film and go throughout the process so it's not invasive for them as they do their job. Um, and then later on, I'm just going to put some music behind that and then maybe just some steps to, to what they were doing. And I think that's also part of my, my, person, uh, my customers who have a real interest in the, in the craft beer scene, wanting to see how this thing actually works and how it's made. So interesting piece of education material there. Uh, it's quite simple uh, and it hasn't taken me too much effort. It's just filming, cutting up those scenes, and putting some music behind it. Uh, the third one, engage. So I'm going to ask my my current audience, the followers, what's their favorite beer and why? Uh, there's two reasons for this. I want them to engage and really give my, their opinion uh, and hopefully create some sort of conversation around my product or, or the product of interest. And then secondly, I might actually get some really good ideas of what I might be missing from my own product line. So that's a bit of a, um, a bonus on top for this exercise. I'm just gonna use a photo for that one and I'm just gonna ask the question. The last one is sell. So you'll see on this example, uh, we have these percentages. You use the sell a little bit less. Uh, you don't wanna just be constantly selling to your audience. You wanna engage, you wanna entertain them. You wanna make them feel like they're, they're not being sold to, that they're actually part of uh, your brand uh, in a positive way. But you can throw it in there and for this example, I've got promote an upcoming event with details and it's still screen at 
the end uh, of just all the information of how to get involved. So um, my brewery is going to put on a, an event day. We want people to come down. So a week out, I'm going to put something out there for that. It might be a video of me promoting it uh, or someone from the bar promoting it as well or even a local band that are going to be playing there as well. So four very different ideas um, off the one content theme. So as you can see, I've written down what it is uh, before I've created anything to give myself an idea of how I might approach this. Or if you have support in your business at this time of people helping you in this space, you can actually give them this to go away and do it themselves to capture that information for you and help you through that. But at least they can see what you've planned out. I've got my digital type, so photo, video, uh, I've used for this one, but you could also go into different ones. You might have a research piece if you wanna get a lot more technical, depending on what you're doing. Um, uh, you might have well, different types of digital, okay? But I've just focused on photo and video. I've got my text that I wanna write about this. So once again, if someone else is doing this for me, I can give them my words before it's been created um, and just what I want actually to be put down there. You'll see I've also got a serious text here. So serious text is more if you're using uh, a platform such as LinkedIn and you want to change up the way that you approach it. Uh, I've just got there as an option. So you don't have to use that. I just personally like to, to have that opportunity there if I'm using LinkedIn to change up the words a little bit. And then very simply at the end, I've got my, my uh, tick off. So is it, has it been published on these platforms yet? and I can keep track of that throughout this process. So as you can see, very, very simple way to come up with ideas before you start the content generation process. Uh, make sure that you're putting this planning in place and really challenge yourself when you come to this idea of your content themes and having your sub-content themes to see if you can come up with four ideas for every single one of these. And then you'll start to see that there are many opportunities out there to go capture this information and if you can find someone within your business who can, who's good at uh, taking photos or doing those videos, then this is a great way to guide them on what you're looking for and, and still having that alignment with your brand and being confident of what you're putting out um, is, is going to be reflective of what you do as a business and engaging for your uh, customer segment.